Hello, this is Tech and Fusey, and welcome back to another video. In today's one, we're going to be looking over some images and teasing for the issue 2 of the Shredder Wars, issue number 2. So, yeah, this issue is probably going to be a quite interesting one, just due to where things were left off uh, from the previous issue. And I'm really looking forward to this. So, yeah, let's just look at these images. So, I'm looking at it from this Technodrome type sort of forums. But it's from Russia, so some things may get lost in translation, but I'll try my hardest. So, yeah, on this site from, what is it, tellpower.ru. Um, so, yeah, so you've got the cover for it, which you can see right here now. So, the description for this um, cover goes as follows. The kidnapping of, Serling ro uh, kidnapping of a Serling's robot uh, friend, the tell does not go unnoticed. Unique technologies from year 21, uh, 2105 fall into the hands of the villains. What will Khan, uh, Foot Clan, Baxter Stockman, and I think I'm supposed to say Hun, uh, do now? And more importantly, will Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles be able to stop them? So, yeah, there isn't really. I, normally, I would do like a, sort of like a breakdown for descriptions, but with a fan project, I still don't want to just because I feel like I'll probably get ahead of myself of thinking, like, oh, this could happen, this could happen, all this. So. Yeah, just make a bit what you will with this description, as it could mean so many things. And the only thing which I did find a bit weird was um, the first paragraph, um, or, or, or like, first sentence saying, like, the kidnapping of Sonic's robot's friend tells it's not going unnoticed. I mean, they rescued him, so not sure how much of a big part they'll play into this issue or, or future issues. But that's the only bit I found a bit weird about this whole description for it. Okay, so the first um, image which I put out, which I'm pretty sure is a screenshot from an episode, is just a time sector, and they replied to a comment saying that things are much simpler, so who knows what's really going on. Okay, so yeah, we did get our first little image for this issue, and it's just Leonardo and Spinter. Leonardo walking into the room with Spinter like meditating, and then gave like a little description, not of the image, but like other things, saying, um, like, I hasten to inform you that the work is proceeding as planned. The drafts of all pages have been completely drawn. Think of the uh, first three uh, have been done. Also, a new color, uh, colorist has been found, and we'll start working soon. Okay, so one good thing about this is that, like, they was able to get... So one good thing about this was the fact that they've been able to ink the first three pages, which is honestly quite good, and it's no, like, right, this coming in sort of in production, or, like, really heavily in production, and we'll actually start beginning colouring soon, which is honestly quite good. Because as soon as they speed up that process, then you know the comment's going to be released. So I'm quite glad to hear that like, we're getting more or news about the actual uh, inking process. Now the next image is just Leonardo and Donatello looking at like a screen, or Leonardo taking up a screen off Donatello. And there isn't really too much to say here, but um, this is after the whole uh, front, or the Ukraine war thing started. So their financial situation went a bit iffy, shall we say. And they needed more support uh, funding, which I'll leave a link in the description if you want to go fund this project. Now, for the description for this little thing, they say thank you very much to everyone who did not um, stand aside and has already supported our project. Until for the first day, we've uh, been able to collect uh, 4,320 rubles for a comic, which allowed us to draw two uh, new additional pages. As well as all supporters, we were sent an electronic version of the first issue. So, yeah, that's qu uh, quite good to hear that people are still supporting this. And still on track to being quite good, and it's even better that like they've been able to draw two new pages uh, for this whole thing. So this is quite good to hear that like the, pro uh, that the project is still like working and stuff like that. And yeah, well, and while there's not really much to really talk about with the image, with it's just been Leonardo and Donatello just there on the on the like, sofa, I guess, it's really interesting to see. What, well, it doesn't really, like give like anything away with the story. So I'm really interested in where this image takes place. Probably near the beginning because it's like because I've only done like a few pages at this point. But if it's, but even so, this is really interesting where they can go with this possible um, story. Oh boy. Okay, so the next image which came from another channel which they used, which called VK. Um, I, what I can tell f uh, from being on it from a minute or two here and there is all like a. Facebook sort of type, Twitter sort of type thing, and this is like another one of their like social media channels where they're able to give out information about the projects, our coming projects, and stuff like that, and also supported me with this with the motion comic and gave it a lot of love. Thank you. Now on here they did give like another really interesting image, 
that gives quite a bit away in terms of story. Or well, not really, because you don't really know what's really happening. But one thing that will potentially be happening and where things will be going in one certain direction. Okay, so the description goes, We're excited to announce that our, that our new comic mailing list is complete and we are back to full work on the following issues. Okay, so I'd like to uh, quickly break this bit down first. So just due to all these sanctions that went from Russia, they're not able to or they're not able to send out like physical releases of the comic to anywhere except from Russia. Which is honestly quite sad because well I really want to get my hands on the physical copy of that. Um but I guess as soon as everything is over we'll probably get our hands on a copy or two. So yeah, that's quite unfortunate to hear, but it's it's understandable why. So it says uh Shadow War Part 2. None out of 22 pages are in the inking stage, the rest are still in the draft form. And then it goes on and it also goes on to say the like Empire of Empire of Evil Part 4 4, four pages out of twenty-six are uh, I think oh complete finish. Um I don't know what the Empire of Evil is, so cool I guess. Um The Origin is Origin is part five of five. Four pages out of thirty feet. Wow, that's quite a lot. Uh, also completely done. Six more ha have inked. Okay, that's quite good. Uh, Tim and T. Okay, for the Galaxy Pop One uh, for first three pages of twenty three are completed. I will talk about that um, that little project sooner than late or quite soon. But I'll, I feel like I need to get more information about that, and I will talk about that one eventually. Uh, but yeah, same like basketball, but like you can, uh, but you can support their page and the project on the Boosty, which I have a link in the description, like I've already said. Uh, you'll significantly speed up the release of the of the fresh comics, as well as receive a number of exclusive bonuses. In the meantime, a, a new teaser of Shredder War Part Two. Okay, so yeah, here it is. Um, an image, a teaser for issue two. Oh boy, this is amazing. We got Renette in this issue. She's gonna be taking the tolls back in time. I'm not exactly too sure when they're gonna be going uh, in time. Could be the future, could be the past, because they're in this city and we don't exactly, well, that doesn't really help us too much either. And also because it's in black and white, that makes things even more harder because, again, it doesn't exactly tell if it's in like present day or the future. But yeah, if I had to guess when this was to take place, I'll probably have to say that this may be this whole scene will probably take uh, place during like the Shredder War homage uh, or Shredder War official scene to like see the future. That's where I'm guessing they take or oh, where Renette's taking them to see the future, but I'm not too sure. Now, the last image, which is on their Boosty page, I'm not gonna show it. Now the reason why is because well you have to pay to see it, and if you don't want to go see it, then you can go uh, go support their project. I mean, you can easily go and support them for like a like a dollar, a pound, two pound, like, like you know, like very cheap ones which you can support the project and see updates. Now, if you see, now if you like, like if you buy like one of their like your wall things, you're able to see some of these images. And yeah, there's this one image or the only image which is new, which I'm not going to show because well you have to pay for it. But if you've seen it, then you know what I'm be talking about. Which is going to be quite interesting to see where they take this character and with their direction for this whole story in terms of where it could go and does sort of hint towards more of the previous image going to this certain season and specific episode. If you've seen the, if you've seen the image and bought the rights to or bought like on the awards for it then you know what I'm talking about. But if you don't then well it's your loss I'm not uh, showing it to anyone but uh, yeah. Let me know what you think about this whole uh, new images in, this, in the comments below and what about the description for this issue. Are you looking forward to it? From what I can tell, people are really looking forward to this whole project. And well, why shouldn't you be? Like, this is this is hot, brand new Timothy 2003 content, which is just so amazing to just sit down and watch and wow, just yeah. So to have this is just truly amazing. Not to mention that it's in uh, like fast source format and is taking place for the Shredder Wars. This is truly amazing. So yeah, again, if you do want to go support this project, I'll leave the Boosty page in the description below. I'll also leave the other links to the pages, just so you can go support them and share that, uh, and like show your love uh, towards this project and just spread the news about this whole project. 
But uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for today, guys. If you do listen, please share lots of scrub note stuff. Goodbye, yo. Bye.